Hi, it's Will from Domecastle.com, and here on YouTube you know me as Epic Fantasy. And this is a tutorial on how to make medieval paint. That's the kind of paint that they made, you know, 500 years ago in the times of Leonardo da Vinci. There you go. There's da Vinci himself. And um, I made paint like this, and I had an artist, his name is Ryan, make this for me. So my thanks go out, big shout out goes to Ryan for making this. It came out great, that's da Vinci. That's his portrait in red chalk. chalk. So let's uh, take a look at this. Um, I'll launch into a little bit more about how to do this, but let me give you a quick overview. We do something called egg tempera, where you use the yolk of the egg, and you mix it with a variety of things to get the colors, like brick, like this, or charcoal to get a nice black. You mix that together, maybe with a little water or a little bit of vinegar, you know, and you make the paint. And you have control over how much pigment you use, you know, with egg tempera like this, you often have to do several layers of the paint. You paint it and you paint another layer to deepen and richen the color. But it's really quite wonderful. You know, in Da Vinci's time, they didn't have oil paints. So they made their own paint like this, with egg tempera, it's called. So, um, I'll, let's launch into the tutorial and I'll show you how I do this. If uh, you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, you might want to consider subscribing. I do a whole lot of videos on all kinds of creative topics. Um, different kinds of projects. Every once in a while, a Da Vinci project like this. Uh, so thanks for watching. Let's launch into the tutorial on how to make medieval paint or egg tempera. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chains, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, metal boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. All right. Um, when you're making a paint like this, the color that you choose, the pigment, is really important, and you can use all kinds of things. Here, I'm going to try a little bit of parsley flakes. Comes out pretty good actually for a green. And um, you gotta grind it up really well into a powder. And I used a mortar and pestle. But of course, you probably don't have a mortar and pestle. There's other things you can use, and I'll show you a little bit of that. But grind up whatever your pigment is to make the pigment the color. Take an egg and just the yolk and put it on a napkin like this to get rid of all the, as much of the white as you can. We don't want any of the white egg white. Although some recipes call for some egg white. See, so you just want yolk. And then we're actually going to pierce that yolk and just, we don't even want the skin of it. For the best temper, in my opinion, you pierce that yolk and just let the actual yolk come out. So that's what you're going to be using there. It's a little messy, but this makes for a nice temper. And then add a little bit of water, and some recipes call for vinegar, but I add a little bit of water. And the great thing about this is later as you're painting, you can even add a little bit more water, but it, it, it helps with the painting. And then add your pigment. Add your pigment. And in this case, it's the green. And then stir it all up to make your paint. And you can keep it separated like this if you're working on something, and just mix up what you need. But there you go, it almost looks like seaweed. And you can see I didn't grind it well enough. You should grind it more. Really powdery. The more you grind it, the better. But some other options. You can use a couple of stones to make your powder, your pigment. And um, here I'm using a piece of brick. That makes a beautiful color. That makes a beautiful reddish, orange, ruddy kind of color. You know, just grind it up really well. And here it is mixed with the egg yolk. See that? And this is what Ryan used to make the Da Vinci drawing, was this color, mostly. We did some black, too. So there you go. Now with egg tempera, you often have to do several coats. It'll deepen and richen the, the color. You know, paint on a coat, paint on another coat, depending on what you want for painting. And charcoal is terrific. I, I grabbed some of this from the forge, and this makes a nice black. Grind it up really good, and it grinds up easy too. So, you know, medieval paints, I mean, it's an old-fashioned method, but it's really kind of cool the way Da Vinci did it. and. Da Vinci actually experimented with a lot of things, and some of his paintings are deteriorating because the techniques he used weren't that good, because he, he tried different techniques to see how they work. See, so paint. So experiment with all kinds of different flowers and, uh, and all kinds of things to get you different pigments. Just don't use anything dangerous, like some things have lead in them, you don't want to use that. Some things have arsenic in it. But there are guidelines that different things you can use, the, the, the flowers, stuff like that. So let's take a look at um, Ryan um, sketching out our Da Vinci here with the paint. You know, it's kind of like a time lapse we did here. It took, I think, about an hour. But he, he liked the paint, and uh, we came up, 
You came up with a nice little technique that also is good with this tempera, and I'll, I'll show you a bit of that in a, in a minute. I also have another Da Vinci project, uh, the catapult, the Da Vinci catapult, and I, I have a project how you can make that uh, with simple items. Uh, I'll, I'll put the link in a video at the end of this video. So if you don't have paints, or if you want to do it the traditional way, you go ahead and make some egg tempera. It's kind of nice. You can go crazy with the colors. One important thing to think about is difficult to match colors, so make up a batch big enough for what you think you're going to need because then it's difficult to make another batch to match it exactly in terms of color. And uh, the more pigment you add, usually the better the paint is, like the black coal uh, charcoal put a lot of black in there to get it nice and thick. But you'll get a feeling for it. So there you go, Leonardo da Vinci, just about done. I know I had fun making these paints. And uh, well, there you go, there's the finished Da Vinci. That's copied after the portrait in red, self-portrait in red chalk. So here's a little bit about the technique is you can use a blunt object or the back of the paintbrush to kind of scrape away some of the paint like that. It's kind of nice to add details, lighten it up, see? And here it is doing it actually on the portrait. See like that? It's kind of interesting. You know, the egg actually binds the pigment to the um, parchment. And you do have to be careful because um, on stretchable parchment, sometimes it doesn't work that well. It's prone to peeling. Well, anyway, there's the Da Vinci Catapult. Uh, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Stormcastle.com. Lots more stuff there.